This is one of the revenue enhancement mechanisms of the city council and it came up as a result of us linking all of our databases and this is a work in progress so that we are linking our traffic and or tax databases or trade and liquor and property tax databases and so what we've done is that we've put in place a mechanism a policy to say that if you owe the council any bill then you cannot procure any service from the council i think that people readily feel it when they go to the traffic because that's a that's a service that people on a daily basis procure but they will see it in other areas. For example, um, if they go for a building permit, if they go for other types of services from the city. And essentially the rationale is that it costs us to provide those services. And many of the services that we provide, we subsidize it based on our principal revenue um, vehicles, which are property taxes and trade license. So if you want your driver's license, you have to be current with us. And our, our database now will show us if you owe immediately at the traffic department, if you owe. So there's a new SI that uh, will be... We've done this administratively. And essentially what it is, certain of the certain pieces of legislation already provides for this. For example, the Trade License Act says that if you owe the council any monies, you could be denied a trade license. Uh, other pieces of legislation provides for that. There's not a linking currently with traffic and the other revenues. But this is not something that we've only done with the traffic department. It's something that we've done across the board, but people will feel it more at traffic because that's a, that's the people on a daily basis go to the traffic department. And all of this is a work in progress. It's a relatively new policy, and we are overhauling our entire property and trade rules to ensure that the, the information in there is 100% accurate.